All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So this is definitely a card I had to look at. So we have plenty of new cards to look at, I swear to Christ. Like, it's like we go through a dry spell, and all of a sudden, like, the Pandora box is just open. And it's just like, new card, new card, new card, new card, new card, new card. So we'll definitely be looking at all of that. But this is a card that I didn't want to skip over because I definitely think it's really great. And, uh, really, and really, it just needs to be reviewed. So we got plenty of more cards to look at next week and upcoming weeks as well. Uh, we even got the new giant ancient gear golem fusion monster boss monster in the TV show, but we'll probably have to look at him because ancient gears is currently on daily duel, so we we'll probably won't look at anything related to decks on daily duels. I could talk about it in that particular uh, video when I use that deck, correct? So anyway, this is Apprentice Illusion Magician. If you look at her, she kind of looks like Dark Magician Girl. I believe the story is that this was like Dark Magician Girl before she got reincarnated into Dark Magician Girl. So, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't watch the original Yu-Gi-Oh! I know. Crucify me right now. I didn't watch too much of it. Like, I didn't get past, like, Battle City. Not really. No, no, no. I, I, I said I didn't get past, like, Merrick. Well, after Merrick and then the dragons, I was like, I, was like, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care anymore. <laughs> now, I had Tamayas and shit like that. Like, no, no, no. no. So, that, that was probably as far as I got in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! I've watched all of GX. I've watched all of 5Bs. <laughs> Have I watched Zexel? No, <laughs> and of currently, of course, watching uh, Arc V. But no, I didn't really finish the original Yu Gi Oh. I don't really plan on going back. So this whole thing with the past Pharaoh and his past love, I don't know. I don't know. But she looks like Dark Magician. She has the stats of Dark Magician. She's level of Dark Magician. She's the attribute of Dark Magician. I'm, I'm Dark Magician girl. Uh, so Dark Magician girl, right? Uh, so she's a Dark Spellcaster Effect Monster. Level six, two thousand attack, seventeen hundred defense. Dark Magician girl stats. Uh, she, her effect is, you can special summon this card from your hand by discarding one card. That, I mean, it's kind of like the tricky, right? And just pitch special summon. All right. But that's a neck. But if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Dark Magician from your deck to your hand. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I, there's really not too much Dark Magician on the channel right now, but there's actually a Dark Magician you bell back, and you're probably like, okay, why? Uh, well, there's some synergy. You know, you got Dark Graph from again, Night, Dark Magician, Dark Ubel, Dark Sentence to Graveyard. You got the Revival Cart Traps for Ubel that can also be the Violet Traps for Dark Magician to spot banish during your opponent's turn with Dark Magic Circle. So there's some synergy. And previous to this card, I was running Summoner's Art because I really wanted to get that Dark Magician in my hand. Now, with this, this pretty much replaces Summoner's Art. Not only does it search that Dark Magician to my hand like I want, but also it's another discard outlet. So if I open up like Ubel or Former Ubel, I can just discard that. There's some of this, which is 2000 beer. This will go ahead and search that Dark Magician. So that's already a great effect. Like, definitely, definitely great. Uh, but this card's not done. Uh, during damage calculation, when either player's turn, when another Dark Spellcaster type monster you control battles an opponent's monster, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Hand or field. That monster gains 2,000 attack and defense during that that damage calculation only. That is awesome. That is all. Awesome. So pretty much, you make Dark Magician a 4,500 monster enough to beat that Chaos Max. That's an out, you know. Dark Magic Circle targets, of course. So you know, but that that's a that's a clear out. That's a clear out. Hand or field for an additional 2,000. You got yourself a Dark Honest for Dark for Dark Spellcaster type monsters. That that's awesome. That's awesome. This this card is awesome. You know. Uh, I'd say there's only one, one minuscule, tiny, little, bitty complaint. She doesn't count as Dark Magician. That'd be awesome as, you know, it's like, while this card is uh, on the field, it gets named Dark Magician Girl. That way, you can actually utilize that uh, card that's like, you got Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl on the field, you get to blow up your entire, your opponent's entire field. Like, that'd be awesome. You just pitch, special summon this, turn a soul, special summon that Dark Magician, or some way, summon Dark Magician with that, uh, with that, uh, with that, uh, was it Dark Magic Veil? Special Dark Magician. Activate your Eternal Soul. Eternal Soul search for that card with the Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl. Fill Walker. Bam, play it, play it, blow up everything. Like, it would just add so much more to the plays of the Dark Magician Girl. I mean, Dark Magician deck and the addition of Dark Magician Girl into the plays as well. If she counted as Dark Magician while on the field, maybe in the graveyard, but I'd be just okay with it. It's just on the field. But it's not so rare. So, uh, how many do you play in your Dark Magician deck? Three. Like, this card is fantastic. Sand fucking tastic, you know. It turns your dark magician into a 4,500 beater. Turns your dark magic rod into a you know 3,600 beater. Her searching effect is good. Her special summon effect is good. Her you know battle hand trap effect is good. Overall, she she's just a great card. I, I just I wish she just named dark magician girl just for some additional play. But maybe I so too OP. Maybe I'm messing for too much. But I mean, personally, even with Eternal Soul coming out, I don't see dark magician being too meta. 
Uh, the plays are too obvious, you know. Obviously, get rid of the Dark Knight Circle, get rid of the Eternal Soul, and the deck just kind of flops. So, uh, I, I just don't see it being too meta. It's slow. Uh, oh, it's nice that uh, it's kind of controlled that could plays during your opponent's turn. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a fan of that, you know. Uh, I like when... I like Witch and DDDs, because you get to play during your opponent's turn. I like, you know, Cosmo Joe and Cosmo. Cosmo is one of my favorite decks, so, you know. Uh, just being able to control your opponent during their turn to, you know, watch and see what they're going to do, wait for a threat, play it on this threat, use their, you know, burn through their resources. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. But uh, the plays are just too obvious. You're, you're too out there. It's pretty much like you're playing Potty Duality on all your plays. Like, hey, the, I'm playing my circle. You can clearly see it. You need to get rid of that. That's a threat, you know. I'm going to flip up the Eternal Soul eventually. All you have to do is wait out for that. So, uh, I just, I don't know, and it's slow. Well, the meta, I think, is just going to get faster and faster with the addition of DDDs, and, you know, Pentadons are going to get their uprising again with meta foes, and I just think that Dark Nations are too, a little bit too slow to become meta, and, you know, it's like Eternal Soul doesn't come all the way out until, like, I think November, so it's like, wow. But, uh, no, I think this card's definitely great. If you're playing Dark Nation deck, uh, whether you're trying to compete against meta, be some anti-meta, or you're just playing for fun, you definitely run three of this Apprentice Illusion Magician Girl in your deck. There is no if and buts about it. This card is fantastic. Good job, Konami. I don't like to say that often, but this is a good card. You, you made a good card. All right, and that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So, um, like I said, I talked about Dark Nation Bell. I will be playing that in uh, the upcoming live stream this Saturday. Yes, I promise I will be live streaming. I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm getting better enough to at least live stream on this upcoming Saturday. It should be fine. Uh, the class that I'm currently in, the course I'm currently in, uh, will be ending by this Saturday. So, you know, I get the weekend off before I hop right get back into the fucking next course and fucking kill myself. But... No, 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 definitely last training, you know, I, I've worked on Dark Nation uh, Ubel. Oh, this card is also good with Mally, you know, you have this, you pitch it, you summon this, pitch Mally, summon this, then Mally banish, bam, there's a fucking rank 6 play, Beatrice right there, so. Uh, I also did a tweaking on, um, a supervised Ubel, because I kind of threw her in there, because that discarding is nice, but being level 6 is nice, so, you know, you could possibly discard this, a special summon. Uh, you know, discard one of your Dark Circles, Doom Shaman, push summon this, discard Mally for rank, eight, uh, rank 6 play, so, discard Doom Shaman, revive it for rank 6 play for Beatrice to get you set up more. So we're going to try that. Uh, like I said, we got, we got a couple of changes uh, to the decks on uh, the Vibe Live stream, so if you can make it this upcoming Saturday, that'd be awesome. Anyway, we're done with this card review. So, tell me what you guys think about Apprentice of Vision Magician in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this card review, like I said, next week and the weeks after, we have plenty of new cards. Like, there is no drive spell. Uh, we got at least three weeks of content when it comes to covering me for new cards. So, um, looking forward to that. So, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and yeah, see you guys next time we do another card review.